Hey y'all, so uh, section 29, that's a beast. Uh, so page one talks about you have to label this part here. Make sure you label it as per the plans. So 1046 right, 1013 left, and then when you flip it over, you have 1013 right and 1046 left. That's really important. Um, some people have made mistakes because it says to do this again for the left, but some people don't realize that the left is on the other side. Also, I, I hope I did this right. Uh, you'll know later on when you're watching this video, but there's four of the thicker uh, 0.125 Laundrons. I think it's three quarter by three quarter by 0.125. I don't know, you'll have to check the plans. But there's one that's really long, like 113 inches. There's one that's like 89 or 82 inches. And then there's two that were like 50 or 52 inches. Those are the ones that I cut to the 49 and 23 30 seconds I think I cut it like an eighth of an inch longer I can always trim it down later but I sure hope I cut the right ones because if you cut the wrong ones then you're screwed um, you have to order new ones so basically to bend so far this is the first one I'm doing it's not all that hard I'm going to try to show you a top-down view but basically I have it in my vise I preload it and then I have a dead blow hammer here and you smack it um and it's getting a nice little bend in it. I'll show you here from the top view. So you can see, now well, it's hard, but if I kind of hold it up like this, you can kind of see that the curve is starting. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna finish up the second half of this and then line it up to the template and see how I did. All right, so hopefully this camera angle works. So this is locked in, oh, this is locked in tight. This is locked in tight. I kind of put my body weight into it here and preload it, and then I smack it. Then I move it about an inch or two. Do it again. Preload it. And we're gonna move it an inch or two. Make sure it's square. Load it in. Preload it. And I can see it's getting a little bit of a curve in here. So move it, lock it in, preload it. Oh yeah. And then every once in a while I'm checking it to make sure that it stays flat, like flat like this, which it is. So I'm gonna finish this one up and we'll see how I did. It's pretty hard to tell with one hand, but I've got it pretty close. It's off by about a 16th of an inch, like it said. I've hit this a couple of times, but I'm pretty happy with this. So the technique works. Just keep checking and marking like where you need to bend. You'll see, like I put a few marks on it here where I needed to bend. Okay, again, so hopefully I'm doing this right. Pay very close attention, but this is the right side, right? And this is the right. I've lined it up here and here. I used C-clamps to clamp it down, drilled and clecoed. You do not drill these on the right side. And then you do drill these, it's in the instructions, and then you can see how it perfectly lines up if I just barely touch it, like it's off a little bit, but if I just barely lean on it, it lines up nearly perfectly. And then what I've done here is I've marked the edge uh, for trimming and that takes care of the right and then we're gonna flip it over and do the left side but you do drill all of these holes on the left I'm gonna do that tomorrow I'm pretty tired here tonight this is a lot of stress all right so I've got the right angle um, bent and drilled, and I've got the left one now. Now again, I hope I'm understanding this correctly, and I've read the instructions like 30 times. 
but these holes go left only. So I did only those holes and those holes on the right, and then I did all the holes on the left. And it matches just absolutely perfectly. Uh, little tiny bit of trim I'm gonna do on that side. It tells you, well, it tells you, I think, to only trim this or the other, but whatever. But a little bit of trim on this side. Like I said, I cut it a little long. And then now the long ones. Man, I just really don't wanna mess these up because even though the angle stock is probably only 20 bucks, 15 bucks, shipping is crazy expensive. So I just hope uh, a lot of people have trouble with these. I just sure hope I did them right. I'll let you know though. Okay, y'all, so the 113 inch and like 92 inch pieces are bent uh, using that same template that Vans gives you. Pay very close attention to one of the steps that it tells you like some of these marks, like a five inch mark, and then there's like a 30 inch mark, and then there's like a 89 inch mark and a 92 inch mark and then of course the 113 whatever those are rough numbers but they're opposite so pay very att close attention to what is forward on left and right and what is aft so i have these very heavily labeled aft and then just again pay close attention to the bends because it tells you where the bend starts and where the bend finishes and you match it up to Again, this, uh, this template that I have labeled. So just pay very close attention there. Now, the one thing I will tell you is I spoke to two builders who drilled holes in the long, long Jurons based on this template and then had issues with it matching up. So the advice I was given, I do not have holes in this yet. No holes have been drilled. Drilled. See that? No holes. I have my center lines marked, um, but no holes have been dri drilled because what are the chances that you're gonna get the holes from that to match up perfectly with this? Pretty small, in my opinion. So the advice I was given was when it's time, it's not time yet, but when it's time, there's another piece that goes here that you can use that has pre-punched holes in it that you can match drill. And then obviously the side skins, you're gonna match drill. And then this little piece here, you can match drill. So my suggestion, again, I'm, when this video is over, I'll let you know if all of my suggestions were correct or not. But my suggestion from the couple builders I spoke with are to not drill any holes in the, the really long longerons until it's in the airplane and mounted up. I wish I hadn't drilled holes in the short ones because you can always drill them later. And as, I'm, as I got this advice, my advice would be not to drill holes in those either. You can always go back and do it later, but I'm curious what those match up to and how they match up. I think from looking at the plans that we're gonna match drill from Longeron to Longeron because these Longerons go in kind of upside down like this. They go up here and then they mate into the tail cone Longerons that I don't think are drilled yet. I don't have my tail cone with me. So I think they're gonna match up and then you'll just all match drill off of the ones I already drilled to the new, to the new ones, or I'm sorry, to the existing ones. So I think we're gonna be okay. But basically for now, that's my piece of advice there. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on here, after all of that, I have four pieces of angle stock remaining from my fuselage kit. I have, a, I have one 72 inch 063, and I have three 72 inch 125s. Again, Vans, seriously, I love you guys, but come on. You don't give me any information when I make this on page 29-4 on what I should cut it from. Now, I only have four left. I did look ahead a little bit, and there are some times when you need 
the um, 063. And since I only have one piece of 063, if I cut the two 36 inch pieces out of the 063, then I won't have any 063 left. But since I have three 72 inchers, I can cut one of them in half to make two of these that you need for bending your side skin. So I'll update you more as I know as I go through that, but that's where I'm at right now. I'm about to start kind of making my wood block, making these pieces and preparing to do the bend, the bend from hell. Um, but there you go, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so this is 1070B. This is the stock that I just talked about that you fabricate. Here's the first one. And the A is already underneath. It gets Clico to this hole. I'll show you the lines that you draw later, but then I've just got it clamped here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill all these out. Clico, as I drill, remove the clamps, and then you pull this off and you match drill A to B, and then that gets kind of Clico all the way through and that acts as your bending template. But we're gonna bend in the other direction. I just needed to flip it over to, to match drill it. I'll show you that when it's done. All right, so I finished drilling it on the skin and now I've got it um, in my vise. So you match, you use the Clico to match A and B and then it's clamped in my vise and now I'm gonna match drill all the holes into the other side. Okay, so far, so good. Um, I'm getting a nice bend. Um, no creases or anything. There is a crease starting to form right here, but there's supposed to be. Um, you can see that. So just kind of keep working it. I'm not overworking it, I'm taking my time. But yeah, I mean, this method, it's working. I keep kind of moving the vice grips to figure out where I want them, but it's working. I just have to do more work. All right, so um, when you're bending this, I'm pretty close. I think I'm about 75 of the 90 degrees. I've heard you can't quite get it all the way to 90, but the technique I've been using is I, push to kind of kind of get over here and kind of push a little bit down as I'm kind of folding You just gotta kind of work it. I mean, that's damn near 90 degrees once I got all the stuff off of it. So let's fit it up against the side here and see how it looks. Okay, y'all, I feel great about this. So the part that has been worrying me the most, I mean, I haven't finished drilling yet, so I could still screw things up, but the bending of the long drawings and the bending, the first bending of the skin, the parts that have been scaring me the most are good. I mean, nothing's perfect yet. I, I still need to do some minor tweaking and bending, but everything I've shown you in this video is what has worked and has worked well. So let's start from the beginning. So the shorter ones, I think these are the 1046 right and lefts. <coughs> Obviously here's the left. So you don't do any drilling here. You'll match drill that later. You did do some drilling here and it worked, it fit, it fit well. And then there's a hole. That's pretty dangerous. There's a whole bunch of holes here. So hopefully, hopefully those line up later. On the right side, same thing. No drilling here, 
We'll mash drill that later. Drilling here, and it worked, y'all! Uh, and then there's some drilling here. Hopefully this match drills, I think if I'm correct, this match drills into the Longeron on the tail cone. So whatever ends up happening here, as long as you have your edge tolerances, uh, you're gonna match drill it. So it doesn't have to line up to anything, I think. Okay, so then the shorter, the like 92 inch or 89 inch Longeron, uh, again, my bend, it's not perfect. It needs a little bit of work. It fits in there, but it kind of keeps snapping out. So I'll, I'll just work on that a little bit, but it's good. Again, no drilling, don't drill it. You'll match drill here, you'll match drill here. Don't drill it, just bend it. And then same thing on the 113 inch one. Don't drill it, don't drill it at all, just bend it. Um, and again, I mean, look, it's, I, I can easily fix this curve right here. It needs to just kind of come out a little bit and then I need to fix it there. That's no big deal at all. That's five minutes in the vise with the hammer. The side skins, um, again, really happy with it. No kinking, no folding, nothing. I didn't, you saw in my videos, I just used a piece of one by four. I didn't cut all those weird angles. I didn't do any of that you saw and it came out perfect. Um, so, I mean, yeah, like I said, other than a couple of little tweaks and bends that I need to make to the Longerons. I mean, everything fits fine. Drilling looks fine. I've got all my lines. So when I start, you could even see here, like when I start, you can see the, the Sharpie line. I mean, you know, it's close enough to center. So when all that match drills out, it's gonna match drill correct. I've got my center lines here, so I don't, uh, edge tolerances. Um, I wanna thank everyone who's come before me to this point to help, uh, to help with all this. Michigan Matt, you've been a huge help. Eric R in Oregon, you've been a huge help. So yeah, I'm gonna, I feel really good about all this. I'll tighten it up all, you know, over the next few days or week, I'll get all these little bends correct and get them all fixed up. And, and then I have to do some stuff for the baggage door here and that other skin, the baggage door skin, and then the forward skin. So obviously, but the big scary part is done and it all worked. So I think I'm gonna end this video here so I can try to get this out as fast as possible for anyone who needs it. And then in the next video, I'll kind of finish up the side skins and stuff.